Hello friends, this is Amit Ranjan and you are watching your favorite channel Java Mitra. In the previous video lesson of uh, Java table series, I have shown that how can we add an image in a JTable cell. In this video, I am trying to show you that how can you add an image with text in your JTable in a different manner. So let us go. First import all the necessary packages. And now let us go to create a class by extending JFrame. And then to array for header and data. Now create a constructor for this class and let us go ahead with the object of JTable. In the data section, I have kept the image icon object with their path. I have already created an images folder in which I have three image, image 1, image 2 and image 3. So I have kept image icons object as a data for fourth column and in header I have given it a name image. So this is a JTable object with data and header but let us create a scroll pen now and pass the op table object here and then add the JSP to content pan setting the size the set visibility close operation now if you will create a main method to see what will happen till now let's create an object of table demo and let us see what is the result of this program? We know that it will not show any image. But let us see. Since image icon is an object, we have to put here image instead of this string object. So how can we do this? Let us go ahead with uh, some more code. So from the previous video we know that if we want to add other than a string object we have to add a renderer so let us create a renderer class uh, so I'm creating an inner class as image renderer which will implement table cell renderer and then the method we already have seen in the previous video that it has a method we have to define while implementing and, and if you do not want then just go here on the console and check the table cell renderer interface and we will see here a method get table cell renderer component so i'm just copying this math message i'm just copying this method so that i uh, do not have any typing mistake while typing method name for method signature we do not need abstract keyword here and even java.tablet is already imported so it is not necessary get table cell render component is minimizing and adding a variable for this first one int is actually row and the second one is column so now i have the complete method signature here for rendering so let us create a jlabel object and then we can add the text. I'm adding text as name, uh, which I can find from data array. And the name is here, Vanath. So if I will say data, row number, and the column number one, then it will obviously give me the row and Vanath positioned data. So just 
make it into string object because the data is of object type so type casting it and then label dot set icon and once again I have to pass this for set icon and then uh, type cast into image icon data row and then column number is 0 1 2 3 so column number 3 so in this way I have uh, added a text as well as the image object in label and now instead of returning this value I will return my own value and it is my label or you can simply type cast into component label to component and then return it back now the issue is that I have to set this renderer object in our table so how can we do this so actually we have to get that table column object and then we can add a renderer so let us go to add the renderer by table dot get column and then pass the column name then dot set cell renderer new image renderer so let us go to see the result now and run the program we have our data here with our images however we cannot see see the image but we are with our image and the name we are having images and name in the image column but from the previous video we can set uh, the height of image to view complete image here so how can we do this let us go to the inner class and just set row height to 200 pixels and then we can have our image the full image with their name we can set the width of this column also but to set the column width we should have to get the column object by calling column method and then dot set minimum width and pass suppose 250 because my image is of 200 pixels wide so I'm adding 50 pixels extra to see the text also let us go ahead to compile and redone we can see our image with their name but what if we want to put this name below the image for this we can do one more thing that we can add a panel and set the panel layout to border layout and then panel dot add label so that level we go in the center region of the panel and then just remove this border layout dot south so in this way in the center region of panel the label will be there with an image icon and in the south part of panel a label will be there with 
a string object and now we can return instead of label we can return panel now let us go and recompile the program and execute and we can see here uh, I have uh, misspelled this uh, label class it's J label so now let us go to check the program and here we have with the image and its name below the image here we can resize our image column width so we need to fix the width of this image column so this is possible by just adding one more statement in the inner class table dot get column image dot set max width to 200 so now my image is of 200 by 200 pixels and let us go to see once again the program here is our image with their name you can see all other columns can be resized but image will not resize image is fixed with its width and height so take care and enjoy this code where I have talked about how to add image with text in your table thank you very much Oh,